What is good, y'all? We are back. Welcome to After the Whistle. We're your hosts. I'm Mo. That's YG. What's up? What's up? And welcome back to our playoff recap of the 2017 NBA playoffs. Now you've seen um, over the last couple of weeks, the playoffs have been in full swing, and we are now in conference finals time. Right. Between right now we have the Celtics and Cavs, and the Warriors and um, Spurs, and Right now, you could tell that everyone actually could tell. It's basically a foregone conclusion that it's going to be Cleveland and Golden State in the finals for the third time. Third time, three straight years. And that's basically kind of coming off of Kawhi Leonard's hurt. And he Golden recently State. got injured, and that's a huge hit for San Antonio. Right. And then you're taking again into account that Boston is basically no match for Cleveland. Yeah, there's no matchup with Cleveland. So. And they're coming off a grueling seven game series against Washington. Right. So I just want, um, I want to get your opinion about what you thought about the, the playoffs till now. Um, I mean, it's been, you know, it's been very up and down with the, with every series really. Uh, Cleveland and Gold State have pretty much just bum rushed all their, the teams that they've all played. And really the only exciting series we got was Houston, San Antonio, yeah. which James Harden kind of just disappeared there. And then the Boston um, Wizards series was pretty exciting. I mean, you had an exciting game six finish. Porter can't yeah. find anybody. He gives it to Wall. Working against Bradley for three. John Wall! Oh, what a shot! Now you talk about a pressure shot in rhythm. John Wall says Avery Bradley. I got a little something for you here. And then game seven was pretty close up until the Olenek effect happened and mm -hmm. he just buried the Wizards, so. Seven attempts. Thomas comes to the ball. Olenek for two. Yes. Switch and get smart back on Beal. 33 for Beal. It's a five-point game. Olenek. For the three. 101 97 Celtics. Halfway point of the fourth quarter of game seven. Olenek again. Kelly Olenek. Shot clock is down to four. Olenek goes to work. Porter there defensively. Olenek gets the roll. Kelly Olenek can do no wrong. <laughs> now you're into, you know, the last stages of us getting into the finals. And again, it's, you know, it's. It's inevitable that Cleveland <laughs> and Gold State, are, like you mentioned, they're going to meet up for the third time in a row. It's yeah. going to be a tiebreaker. One of them is going to win the championship, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's 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 the NBA playoffs for you. And just talking off, like we're going to talk about the, like the two really competitive series. Mm -hmm. Just going off that, it kind of ended pretty much. It ended pretty flat. You yeah. know, James Harden didn't really show up in Game Six. That really brought down the field of the playoffs. Right. You know what I mean? And then moving on to Washington and Boston, that was a great series, probably the best series in the playoffs. It has been so far. You but it was really, down. again, it was still disappointing. Again, we picked Washington to move on and they unfortunately did not. Yep. A lot of people said they probably wouldn't want to see the two series we're looking at now. But either way, whichever one, whether it was Houston, Golden State, or Washington, Cleveland, or Washington, Washington, it was still going to be Cleveland, Golden State in the final. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's, that was the assumption and it still is. Mm -hmm. um, however, I just think a lot of people felt as if Washington on the east side would have probably given Cleveland just a little bit more of a test. You know, they might have been able to pull out a game, maybe two, who knows. Um, but, you know, we'll never know because they obviously didn't win. And then on the West, I mean, I, honestly, whether it was San Antonio or Houston, mm -hmm. I don't think it would have really mattered for Golden State. They're just so deep. Well, just let me, let, me, make a let me ask you this. Okay, so if you had to choose an MVP right now uh -huh. for the playoffs, right. who would that be? It's LeBron, hands down. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. He's dominated, you know, from the second half of the season going into the playoffs, it's, it's been a different LeBron. He's dominated the game. It, it just seems as if like he's just unstoppable at this point, you know. And, and you couldn't stop him before, but now it's just like it, it's kind of getting ridiculous. <laughs> and I think I think numbers. what goes into him just playing so well, he's had time to rest. Right. Every series right now, he's been able to get it done, 
and then get a huge amount of rest. Get it done, get a huge amount of rest, starting with Indiana, then moving on to Toronto. Toronto both sweeps. Right. Gave them nine days off between the sweep of Toronto uh -huh. to the first game against Boston. Yeah. So just that added rest gives them time to prepare. And that whole Cleveland team altogether, they've gotten themselves together defensively. Yeah, they've definitely picked it up defensively. Um, and they look like the championship team right. that won the ring last year. Right. You know what I mean? And on Golden State's end, they're basically doing the same thing. Right. They're just, tr who's trying to like one-up each other? Right. You know what I mean? That's what they're, they're, they're probably watching each other and it's like, okay, he beat, they blew them out, I want to go blow them out. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's kind of cool to see. Because you know, um, on the outside looking in, you probably people probably don't notice that, but they're watching each other. You know, they're, Draymond's mentioned several times that he's you know been watching Cleveland, obviously, and he thinks that they're really not going through any tests or anything mm -hmm. like that. But neither is Golden State. I mean, the real test is when they play each other, and that's where exactly. it this is just a kind of scrimmages for them until they get to where they get to, and it should set up for a great finals. Um, you know, I. Can't wait for it. It should be really great. I hope it goes to uh, seven games, mm -hmm. you know, like it did last year. And, you know, one of them is going to get the upper hand. Um, seeing as how, again, three three years in a row that they'll meet up. And again, I'm assuming that they're both going to make it this year. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who gets that tiebreaker. And hopefully we're in for a good ending because the beginning of the playoffs haven't been too exciting. Hopefully it ends on a bang. Yeah, it was totally different than last year. But I'm going to have to say that um, we are going to have a finals preview coming up. So just stay tuned for that. And then... I don't want to go too much into it, but this year, if LeBron gets past Golden State, I really think it cements his legacy. Yeah, he, he solidifies himself. Because yeah. to me, he's already the greatest of all time. I know a lot of people have something to say about that. A lot of the older generation still want to, oh, stay with Jordan. You know what I mean? I, I could have said, I mean, said right now he's the greatest of all time. And to be honest with you, even if he beats this year's Golden State, I still would have a hard time saying it. However, I do feel as if, if he gets it this year, if he gets it done, he legitimately solidifies himself as 1B. Exactly, and we'll, and we'll have to make a video on that if, let's say, he wins against Golden State, because that's an argument a lot of people are going to want to hear about, and we'll definitely touch on that. We'll definitely touch on that, and I, you know, I, I'll look forward to that. That should, be, um, that should be a fun little segment. Just, I, I just want to see the finals. Yeah, man, we're just waiting on that. So, <laughs> so that was it for our NBA playoff recap. If you guys had anything to say, please chime in in the comment section down below. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out our last video. Um, it's, it is now up. It was on the. You know, it was, we introduced a new segment. Yeah. We yeah. Then talked about Lonzo Ball shoe and um, the ascension of John Wall. Even though now he's out of the playoffs, he had a great run. Hell yeah. Great run. And we'll be we waiting to see him next year. But until next time, we're out.